Hello, everyone. It is Malachi with Essence Cartoon. And today we're going to be talking about Red Giant Trap Code Horizon. So let's get started. Step one, what you're going to want to do is drag in your panoramic photos. This tool or this plugin works best when you're using a panoramic image because you're going to want to be able to go 360 when you're using your 3D camera. What we're going to use in this case is this foggy cloud background. So I'm not going to do this in this video because I'm just showing you the plugin. But what you're going to want to do if you do this in your project, you're going to want to make sure that this part of your image is seamless with this part of your image. So that way it doesn't look like a hard stop basically in the illustration file or in the photography. So that would be your technically your first step. But once you've done that, then you'll go into After Effects and then import it here. The next thing that you're going to want to do is you're going to want to make a comp. So let's go ahead and make a comp and also make sure that you set the comp to what you really want it and it doesn't do like what you had before. Just make sure you have your width and height exactly where you want it. Uh, it can do 4K, 8K. It doesn't really matter with this uh, plugin. Once you have that set up, you're going to want to drag in your footage and then just hide it. It doesn't matter how big it is. You don't need to scale it. Don't need to worry about any of that then you're going to make a solid. Once you make the solid, make sure you name it Horizon, hit enter, then pull up Horizon plugin by Red Giant. But then you'd add your camera and make sure you name your camera. I always use 35 millimeter for most situations. And then use this gizmo. And this is where you can kind of move this around. You can tell that this image is actually moving around. And you might be thinking, huh, we could do a day to night effect with this. And if that's what you're thinking, you're absolutely correct. You could do that with this plugin. We're going to use image map and we're going to change it to that. So now we got the image map on here and now all that is is this image here that we dropped in. And then if we move this camera around, this is the scene part I was telling you about. If you had this lined up in Photoshop, this would be seamless basically. All right, so it's pretty scaled up pretty high. I'm going to focus on this point here. Let's go back into the settings. So this is your coverage 360 horizon. As you pull it down, it starts to open up. It's like a cylinder. And then your vertical will start to open up like that. That's your vertical. So if you go back to the image, just the way this is set up, you might be like, this is not really usable for what I'm trying to do. You're going to have to alter this. So this is how you scale the image like that. So now it looks a little bit more usable. You might, OK, I can work with that. But then you got this problem here. So maybe scaling the vertical up more will allow you to do at least move it around. But I would still keep it at 360. So that way you can still go around the whole thing 360, but then not have to worry about going up or down. But that's basically how you can alter this. Another thing that you can do is uh, change the bilinear. I wouldn't change it because this is what happens when you do it. I'm going to put it at full res. If we go to nearest neighbor, it makes it look kind of weird. So I never use that. I always use bilinear is the best option. Uh, orientation, you can change the orientation. You can animate that if you don't want to use the camera itself. And that just changes that. You can also straighten it. This is another feature I would never use. But if you want to, you can straighten the lens but it looks unrealistic if it's straightened like that. You can also scatter the pixels. If I zoom in, you can see how scattered they are. Kind of give it that weird light effect. And then I'll show you to straighten again, close up. This is, you can tell the image is straightened right there too. Motion blur is self-explanatory. I mean, basically when you're moving the camera from one angle to another, you will have the motion blur. And actually, let me see something. Point of interest. There we go. So we're going to transform. I'm just going to create two keyframes. So that's the key. Of course, no ease. <laughs> but that's if you do the motion, if you crank this motion blur up and then move the keyframe closer to something like this, this is that's the motion blur that you're going to see like that. Um, it's actually not too noticeable, but. But that's it. That's how you use Horizon. If you have any additional questions, 
definitely leave a comment. Don't forget to subscribe, and I will see y'all later, Gators.